Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation and thank you for allowing me to present at this conference. So this is a poster presentation titled Climate Stress Impacts on Livestock Health, Implications for Farming Livelihoods and Antibiotic Use in Karnataka, India. So this is a representative poster for a publication that we are in progress of getting published with the CABI journal uh, on the same topic and is by myself and several other authors listed at the top. So just to introduce you to this project, essentially what we were trying to investigate was the relationship between climate change and bacterial diseases, specifically the diseases of hemorrhagic septicemia, anthrax, black water, and enterotoxemia. All of these diseases have known relations with livestock, especially in India, where there's a strong livestock economy. Um, and so understanding how these bacterial diseases are impacted by the ever sort of changes of climate, uh, specifically climate variables such as temperature, precipitation, humidity, and diurnal temperature range. So the case study for this research um, was the state of Karnataka, which is in the western coast of India, uh, with a map of that in figure one, highlighting the uh, capital city of Bangalore, where the Icar Navedi Center is based. The Icar Navedi uh, is a inst joint institute which supplied the disease data for this project through the online platform of the Nadres V2. So just to get through, uh, the objectives and aims of this project were to identify climate changes that relate to livestock material diseases, as aforementioned. We then wanted to use this information to create risk assessment maps that could be used to indicate areas around the state where climate was going to have a stronger impact on disease outbreak or climate was going to have a weaker impact. We then wanted to project these findings onto future climate data and create maps which could help provide long-term planning and safeguarding in the future. So what we did was we downloaded available climate data from the CRU time series uh, meteorological data set available online through CEDA, and of course the Nadres V2 disease data sets, both of these spanning from 1987 to 2021. We downloaded these into R, calculated long-term averages, sort of fixed the data into time series and determined key anomalous years. We then conducted con correlated statistics, first with visual peaks peaks, then followed by more quantitative assessments using Spearman's rank and a principal component analyses. We then finally used the inferences from the PCA and the statistics to create a climate risk map based on the relationship of the diseases with the climate data. The results of these statistics are outlaid in this figure here with our time series data from the start for climate variables, all sort of fluctuating, but indicating a growing, increasing trend. Our correlated statistics between certain climate uh, variables and the diseases, which then led to the principal component analyses, which is the fundamental data for this project. Here we are showing the seasons in different colors and how they are related to the climate and disease data sets on the principal component axes with principal component one, two, and then three on the vertical of this one. In summary, precipitation and vapour pressure seem to have a positive relationship with blackwater, anthrax, and hemorrhagic septicemia, while temperature seems to have a more negative relationship with these diseases. This being said, we uh, created a climate risk map based on this, with the high risk zones being identified to the northwest of Karnataka and a, a, a low, lower level of risk more in the north and the southwest and the lowest risk into the east. Seasonal contributions to these risk levels and particular individual variable contributions are also mapped so that you can focus attention to particular variables such as precipitation or the temperature. In the future, we would like to repeat this investigation using more granular data sets, working with individual organizations such as the WHO and the CDC into larger, more automated projects. Thank you for your time. And please, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My details are on this poster. Thank you.